There are calls tonight for safety training for people who use mobility scooters. Campaigners also want the government to keep official records of accidents. The calls come after a pensioner from Cornwall died reversing his mobility scooter out of his home. Spotlight Sarah Ransom reports. Out for a spin. John Siemens has relied on his mobility scooter for years. He runs a charity taking people needing scooters out to places like Dartmoor. He's amazed there's no regulation. There should be some form a training session supplied by the government um, where these people can go when they buy a scooter the person that's buying selling it says right this is where you have to go and you have an hour's training an hour would be fine if they needed more they could come back a 79 year old man from Bodmin died recently after crashing his scooter but accidents like this don't have to be recorded Brian Fleming gave up using his after he was knocked off it. He says it's just too simple to go and buy one. You can buy them as easily as you can go and buy a packet of cigarettes. The person who buys them before they put them on the road should be able to prove they've either had a driving licence or done part one of the written test for a driving licence. With reports of other local incidents, a Plymouth MP has taken the campaign to Parliament. Some action has to be taken to ensure that standards are maintained in terms of the safety of these vehicles and that some basic training ought to be undertaken by all users. From next year, accidents can be officially recorded. The government says basic training is an issue and is working to address it, but admits protecting a mobility lifeline and dealing with obvious safety concerns is a difficult balancing act. Sarah Ransom, BBC Spotlight.